Okay. Um, Forty second wave. Got some of them. And nine minutes, nine minutes boss. I think is the blue crocodile or alligator. We have big tummy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so look at his alligator friends with a knife, stabby stabby knife. So here's when the skulls start to appear, right? The skulls here. Those are hard to destroy, but they give you like um, I think six or seven gems. So it's good to kill them if you can. So. Um, okay, so look here. This is what I mean by, you know, um, it's, it's kind of difficult for new players to to use this build because, like, if you, if you look at your HP now, probably gonna panic, right? And then you're walled in. Yeah, so... Okay, here we go for... Catfish. I'm trying to get my HP up again. And you know, I love the skulls because they are hard to destroy. And that's a good thing for this build because um, then you can live steal using your catfish. So you can't really reliably, reliably use catfish on the monsters because they die to your risky fish and your snail shell um, and your shields. But the skulls, they are hard to destroy. So you always want to, if you run this build, you want to go near the skulls, stay near them and just suck the HP from them. Okay, and also one thing that I forgot to mention. Um, when these waves come, you see, they push the skulls. And same goes for the, uh, the stone blocks, right? They'll be pushed. So you have to be a bit careful. So uh, back then, I, I practiced, you know, like looking out for these skulls or all these blocks before the wave comes. And that is also why you have to take note of the timer. So like 18, 19 seconds, um, scout the map quickly, take a quick glance at where the blocks are, and then uh, try, and, try and avoid them if you're a new, if you're a new player, right? Try to avoid them because um, you don't know how much damage you can take. So not just the skulls but they push the monsters as well right look at these blue guys not sure yeah yeah here right over here it's, it's more obvious so these guys over here you can see they're gonna get pushed Whoa. ah there okay you, you can slow down the video and watch it for yourself So moving towards the skull. Now even if you don't run this build, it's still a good idea to Okay, here we want to have the mints, right? That's our target. 25% cooldown. Okay, so even if you don't run this build, you want to get close to the skulls. You want to try to destroy them because each of them gives you like six or seven gems. Um But yeah, if you're a new player, you probably want to get away from them, right? Because the waves are going to push them towards you. Uh, okay, so you can see I'm moving towards the skull here, the skulls. I don't need them for the lifesteal, but it's good practice to do that. So here... 
you can actually see I just move past the wall without taking much damage right but this is a big yak okay so for other body types you're gonna see a more noticeable damage so I just keep on turning back to face the, the boss so that I can use my catfish on him because as we know catfish deals a lot of damage so I keep on I move and then I turn back and face him use the catfish see you see that 91 93 damage right there 88 91 93 yeah so that's a lot of damage and then they will drop a purple gem which is worth god knows how much i don't know um, but it's worth a lot you want to pick it up okay so yeah i think those are the really important basics that uh you you have to practice on um, I'm sure like other pro players they have their own basics but these are mine right these are the things that I noticed the most when I was training uh, when I was starting out these are the things that I look out for if you have any good tips I'm all ears so please share them with me so um, okay so 13 minutes boss is this guy here the tortoise this guy is tough to kill right I think it take about one minute to kill it um, with this build, it's gonna take at least one minute, I think. But unless you just... Yeah, so you can see that I, I tried to pop all my shields on him, but I, I think they missed. But uh, yeah, it's gonna take about one minute with this build. And there are other builds that can kill it much faster, much quicker. Especially uh, hair. Hair is... Hair was really OP. Um, a few patches back so if we see like hair comes up we, we just pick it without thinking right just level it up we don't care about the other skills at all but that's how OP it was okay so here we go for risky beast but yeah hair has been nerfed it's, it was one of my favorite skills actually if you can get that early level 9 hair you can destroy all these skulls so easily and all the yellow walls at uh, uh, six seven minutes, and all these bosses as well, right? So because hair, uh, hair does critical damage. So I'm not sure whether that's like two times more damage than usual or, or what. But yeah, critical damage and you also um, fires really quickly. It's like a machine gun at level nine. So. Good times, good times. So stay close to the skulls, like what I'm doing here. So now the monsters are starting to do damage. And, uh, but we have the mint and the catfish to heal back up, so we should be fine. Now this 15 minutes boss, Moves really fast, right? The vampire guy. Uh, looks scary, but he's not He's not that scary. So he moves fast. You're not going to outrun it. Um, probably, I think only wet dog can outrun it. Or if you have Arco, right? The speed boost from Arco. Um, the, the shield. Uh, yeah, but he doesn't do much damage. And he dies pretty quickly. So don't be too afraid of him. So I, I've seen games where you know newer players they just run away from it like forever so here we're gonna 
uh, okay, so we have max, max level snail shell, which is really good. So far, so good. So, so why is snail shell so good? Wow. It can push back the... Okay, so you see the boss is it's gonna be dead. Yeah, see, it dies within 10 seconds, it's dead, right? So... Now, snail shell is good because it can push back the... It has a pushback effect. So you see this, uh, okay, you see these yellow markings on the monsters. I think those are from the uh, Risky Beast. But why are they so far away from the axis? Because they got pushed back by the snail shell. Right? Snail shell used to have a larger pushback effect, I think, but they nerfed it. And snail shell was really OP. Um, at a, in the earlier patches, so everyone was like picking it. Um, but after a series of nerfs, in the past few patches, uh, we don't really see it anymore. But I think in the in the last one or two patch, it was buffed a little bit. So I think it spins faster or something. Um, which is what gave me this idea for this build, right? Because since shoes are so good and then catfish is op life steal and you you combine that with snail shell and risky beast like you're virtually unkillable okay virtually See how fast I heal back up, right? OP Catfish OP So learn to use it Yeah, if, if it's the first time that you use it Just pick it as your first skill Just just uh, take note of the, the rhythm You get a hang of it pretty quickly So here I move to the Scouts Four Scouts Two of Three of them have uh, got destroyed pretty fast. And okay, so this 16 minutes mark is actually my favorite. Okay, but first let's pick. Uh, so here we want to go for catfish, right? Insane damage. Let's see how much damage it deals at level 5. Now, when it says uh, plus 50% damage, it's 50% uh, of the base damage, right? Not 50% not of the uh, level f 3 or 4 damage so it's, it's always a percentage of the base damage so let's see look at the blue ring so 1 and then 2 right 1, 2, 1, 2 that's the rhythm look at the damage 120 that is insane at just level 5 and you look at our risky beast. Five or eight, four, five, eight, nine damage. Such a big difference. So why I like oh yeah, this 16 minutes wave, I like it because for this build is good. Uh because they move pretty slowly. Right, the red monsters surround you from all sides, but they move very slowly and they will bunch up together. And you can just use your catfish. You will hit a lot of them. And just get a ton of healing, right? Okay, that, that was uh, the dragon wave. Um, with this build, you don't have to be afraid of them. And See, they do almost no damage to me. Hold up. Just notice my sidekick is heartbroken. Why is he heartbroken? What? What did I do? He's just a, ran a random emote. So now he has an exclamation mark. I think that's when he 
he'll make some some monsters sleep. Yeah, see? See these monsters are going to sleep. Yeah, when you see the exc exclamation mark. So going to sleep. But like I said, uh not much effect on the game. But it's nice to have a sidekick, right? So if you can afford it, you should get one. I think there are still like three, three or four hundred of them available. Um yeah, link in the description below. So it's a way for you to support the developers and also a chance for you to own the NFT. It's gonna it's gonna it's not an NFT yet, but it's gonna turn into an NFT in the near future. So yeah, this this uh, boss. So just move slowly. Okay, so this blue ring, I mean this purple ring, uh, it's uh, well you can if you want to escape from it, like out of it, you can use the post flight, right? Post flight, but you need to make sure that you save up your post flight. Like don't use it um, right before the blue ring appears. So. Otherwise, you're not gonna have it when it appears. So, and which is why taking note of the timer is really important, right? So this 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 ring forms at twenty seconds, and then you have these big dragons. Uh, so from for my build here, I don't have to get out of the ring. If I have to get out of the ring, uh, I can I can just walk out. If I have like let's say two or three shields on me, you can just walk out. You'll be fine. Um, and also the dragons they don't deal damage to me. But if you use other body types like uh, those with smaller HP, hundred twenty HP, uh, you might want to avoid this wave. And in the future videos, I'll show you how to avoid them. 